In this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about writing a check, just straight writing a check in QuickBooks, not entering any accounts payable. Someone has uh, come and dropped off some inventory for you, or um, someone has come and dropped off some office supplies for you, and you need to cut a check. Okay? So how do you do that? Right here, you have your write checks function. Make sure that you choose the proper account. Okay, so which account you're writing out of. You might have a separate bank account for the manual checks. Okay, it's not going to be printed, or is, is it going to be printed? You can choose that there. Notice how it gives you a check number. So you can fill in the check number if it's a manual check, or you can check for it to be printed there. All right, we're going to go ahead and the date. We're going to keep it as to be printed for now. The date, what's the check date? It's going to be as of today. You can push a T for today. It could be as of the beginning of the month, M for beginning of the month. Um, so you choose which date you're going to have it, probably today. Okay, who are you writing the check out to? We're writing it out to Sloan Roofing. And how much is the check going to be for? $1,200. Okay, it puts the address on there. Any special memo? Dropped off supplies, whatever you want to have there. Okay, so the account, uh, let's say that they charge us a travel expense of $50. And on the item side of things, you can choose the items tab. And you can say that the item was an inventory part, non inventory part, whatever it is. Maybe it was for services. Uh, let's go ahead and say labor services. Okay, and we had a quantity of 115 and the total was 1150 okay all right so we're going to go ahead and save this and uh, save and close all right so now say we we're ready to go ahead and print it we want to go up to print checks okay so it has that Sloan roofing check sitting there waiting for us to print it make sure we choose the right check number check number 105 Okay, make sure we choose our right check style here and we go ahead and print the check. All right. And that is how you write a check for items and expenses.